few things we're still working on her with to make her better, but she is modeled after the average um, female American soldier by a DOD grant. And she actually weighs 130 pounds. She's 5'7". She is a civilian version because she had these uh, lap belt injuries, seat belt injuries. She actually has a broken left oh. Oh. <laughs> and she has a broken right tip fib, which will actually bleed about 3,000 cc's of fluid, <laughs> unless you put the tourniquet on properly and tighten it down. You can actually control the bleed. So That's we're so excited cool. about this one. We actually just have parts for Hank and Henry. They now have amputated arm and leg. Their traumatic amputation, which does have arterial bleed, can can be controlled by a tourniquet as well. So we're changing the you know yeah, changing we, the game a little bit. We, we were graduating too soon. <laughs> too soon. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, we'll wait to get some this now. Yeah. Um, so these guys are in the lineup now, and she's getting there. We're still working on getting her better. Oh, that's a piece of it. He he was bringing. <gasps> no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Very like. <laughs> so Hayes is. Uh, oh, he will move. No, no, his head moves. Angry. He'll track. He can have seizures. He, he has. He has angry. He has different facial. He has angry face and etc. Um, but he's also changes colors. He can be cyanotic and blue. He can have redness from a fever. He can actually be nauseous. So, wow. and we can do all the things. He actually right now he's wheezing. So, and uh, wow. as I mentioned before, we're able to see how the quality of breast, uh, ventilations go, the CPR goes, the same as all the other mannequins. Yeah, yeah this guy's. We have a new version. The, there's a, the rest of you will be jealous too. There's a new one coming that's an adult version of him that actually is going to show us symptoms of stroke. So from wow. facial drooping and stuff. So we're anxious, we're anxious to see that one finally arrive. Damn, that's so, super neat. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um, Tori and, and Taylor are two infants that we uh, have available to us. They move, they have facial grimaces also when they're awake and moving. And uh, they are, uh, we do a lot of pediatric infant simulations. And Victoria in the middle is our birthing simulator. Victoria well, the, yesterday delivered, uh, had postpartum hemorrhage twice uh, on the mom baby unit. And then next week she's going to deliver twice uh, shoulder dystocia uh, on Friday. Wow. Uh, and, but that's not her record. Her record is eight deliveries in one day for the PA program. So, <laughs> so uh, that's quite amazing. Yep. <laughs> but but um, she's an excellent um, trainer for, you know, those high risk, unusual events. Maybe you don't get to see a shoulder dystocia, but you can actually practice it here. Or even a delivery thing. You know, have to get certain deliveries, but she's actually a really good simulator. And then we can walk around and show you the OR. Go. Uh, yes? I have to cut out, but this was incredible. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll, give you a, we'll show you the um, OR real quick. Okay. Hi, Hank. I'll get your food. Okay. Your sister say hi. Okay. use as an operating room. There's a few times that we do use it when we have, actually have an OR team that's come over and do some practice and training with it. The OR nurses are here on a fairly regular basis, so like once every other week, doing practicing opening trays and setting up rooms for different procedures. The anesthesia clerkship uses it a lot um, in this setup. We yeah. have uh, uh, anesthesia machines, the mannequin, and all that kind of stuff. In addition to that, we have a lot of tables that we'll bring out and we'll have task trainers airway trainers, central air trainers, whatever the case may be, whatever that faculty member wants, is wanting to add or train on that day with our students. So this room becomes very versatile. It's not always an OR. <laughs> so it's, it's all, often a task training room, a lot of other stuff going on in it. But it, it is set up just like an OR. It's mirrored at, at much like that at the cross the street. Other than the fact, this is bigger than most of the ORs across the street. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're a little tighter, um, but that's okay, we're, we're, we like the nice space. 
Uh, next door is a training is a test training room. Also, we have a surgical trainer, FLS trainers. There, I don't know if you're interested in those, but they are available and, and they're on. Some of them are on. And people are practicing and playing with them for a little bit. Uh, you're welcome to do that. But that same thing happens next door where we actually will, whatever the class is, so the coursework is, we will set it up for that particular class. Uh, and different types of trainers will be available in, in that room for them to use. Mm -hmm. That room set up, it's nice. And as this one, you, there's the ability to do presentations, watch videos. And then do a procedure and those kind of things. So, but that's more of a that's a really big room. Yeah. So, questions you might have. Thanks so much for doing this. I was not expecting it too. It was great. Well, we we this is the first time it's ever been done. And they ask and they say, yeah, we'll do it. Why not? Yeah, <laughs> I feel like uh, like my family has. Yeah, no they give you a chance to see it, right? Yeah, yeah. Everybody that seems to come up here has really enjoyed the tour. So, I think a lot. Of, I don't know how many people have come up here. But <laughs> yeah. I was just wondering what he was going to be doing. Yeah, but yeah, this is, uh, we're glad to be able to do it. I'm glad we were able to pull it off. So. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for being nice to be in university procurement, to be honest. What? <laughs> Thank you so much. Are you doing university procurement? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, we are. You're, you're good. I was just making my random statement because yeah, I went to K through 12 and I miss buying unique things. You, yeah, well, let me tell you, our admin buys some really unique things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We need this manicure, <laughs> we need a defibrillator, a, a ventilator. <laughs> so we uh, yeah, we have some unique things. It's, yeah. it's, it's amazing what you get on Amazon now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so like, th these are, these like lights are pretty cool from the R room. But what's cool is like this one has a camera. Oh, so wow. like usually like as a med student, we're at either at the foot of the bed or along the wall. We can't see shit in the patient. So like usually yeah. like the camera. Oh, so like, yeah, it's not the same, same, but they projected on a TV screen in the OR, and like you can like watch for like sitting down in the corner. Uh, and like since I'm, I'm going to do anesthesiology, okay. so like so this is like what I'll mainly be doing. During residency, like after the first year, I'm just gonna hide behind the blue curtain. <laughs> I, I, will, I will be hiding behind the blue curtain. I'll be hiding as much as possible. But like, yeah, this is the machine you use, and like, these are these are gases that they inhale, and like, it'll make them fall asleep. We can like adjust how much oxygen or air or like nitrous oxide goes in there, and like, uh, this like is an automatic ventilator, and it could uh, produce like the gas from like the tanks to like make them fall asleep, and. Uh, over here, there's like a mask, and like you would like connect it here and put it on the patient. Yeah, see, it's not on, I don't... but like you, you would like bag them, and like this acts as like a little lung, you could like press air into it, mm -hmm. and then like when you when they have enough, enough air, you can like grab this and like use this to like innovate, and then like put Why? something in there. <laughs> But there's like a light in there. Oh, that's it's cool. cool. Yeah, but this is like what I'll mainly be doing in the rest of the city. I'll be chilling in dark rooms like this, or hopefully bright rooms so I don't fall asleep.